today in court, Timothy Harris shot and killed Courtney Dixon on Old Cherry Point Road. And today, some closure for Dixon's family. News Channel 12's Deja Mayfield was in the courtroom when the sentence was handed down. She joined us now live from the Craven County Courthouse with the latest. Deja. Timothy Harris pled guilty for the murder of Courtney Dixon today, and the judge sentencing him to a maximum of 25 years in prison. In the plea hearing, Assistant District Attorney Matthew Wareham shared that the altercation between Thomas and Dixon started over who'd control their area for drug sales. And on May 22, 2020, Wareham says Harris shot Dixon about eight times off of Old Cherry Point Road. In the courtroom, Dixon's mother and sister read their victim impact statements, asking the judge that Dixon receive the maximum sentence of 28 years. Dixon's sister sharing, quote, I want him to spend the rest of his life in prison. Now, although Harris's sentence was just a few years shy of what the district attorney and Courtney's family had hoped for, District Attorney Scott Thomas tells me that he's satisfied with the outcome. We were pleased in this case that the defendant pled guilty to second degree murder and based on the evidence in, in this case, we felt that was the appropriate plea. Uh, we asked the judge that he be sentenced at the maximum uh, sentence and the judge did sentence up towards the maximum, which would be 25 years. So the defendant will uh, get a minimum 20, maximum 25 year prison sentence. Harris will be transferred from the Craven County Jail to a North Carolina state prison. Harris also pled guilty to felony assault of uh, using a deadly weapon against a government official and for that sentence, for that charge rather, the judge sentenced him to 32 months maximum of supervised probation. In Craven County, I'm Deja Mayfield for News Channel 12. And we've been following this story since the beginning for our complete